My name is Robin Scherber, and I am a hematology oncology physician at the Mays Cancer Center in San Antonio, Texas. I spend a lot of time on my research. Even when I'm at home, I have a very supportive husband. I knew even from a very young age that there was really no more important field to me than cancers, especially blood cancers. Blood really is so much more important than we could have ever imagined, just in terms of our health, our immune system, how we live on a day-to-day -day basis. My early work was to try to help with the validation of symptom assessment tools, things like the Myeloproliferative Neoplasm Symptom Assessment Form, or MPN-SAF. We also created the MPN-10, the shortened version that can be quickly used both in clinical trial setting as well as in an office setting, to really try to understand the symptom biology. My primary goal is to try to quantify the burden that MPN patients experience everything from being able to actually give me a number in terms of a symptom burden, to being able to, to give me a percentage of their day that is impacted by fatigue or when their fatigue's the worst. Some of the key things that people don't necessarily realize that MPN patients struggle with, they can have very severe symptom burden, although they look relatively healthy. I, I get that from a lot of patients. It can have a large impact, and sometimes those things are under-recognized. It's not just symptom burden. It's really an impact on their lives, the lives of their loved ones, and how they live their lives. And we've shown that again and again, the MPN disease course can impact on a day-to-day -day level of what choices they're making. I also spend a lot of time working with support groups all around the nation to help educate, help inform, and just get to know the MPN community at large. So this is actually what this blood looks like. All of our work and everything that I've done so far has really been with the goal of trying to provide patient-centered care. I can tell you right now that there is no better feeling than to see a patient, know that they're struggling with something, but know that I have the opportunity to be able to intervene on that. That's really one of the most rewarding things that I can possibly do, and honestly, kind of what drives me to keep doing what I'm doing.